Okay, guys, here I found another old Pontiac. It's a 1970 model. And uh, ever since I was a kid, I always saw these things. My neighbor across the street had one. It was like one down the street, one up the street, one on the next block, one, two blocks over. And these cars were real popular at that time. It's a 1970 model Pontiac. And we're gonna take a look at it right now. Here we go, guys. Um, a 1970 Grand Prix. Oh yeah. I mean, these things were so popular. And this one is with the 400. The 400 block, big block in it. There was one thing about these cars. You always had that longer front end because you had that big block 400 in here. General Motors Pontiac Edition motor for performance. You got that right. I mean, these things were nice and this is a nice one. Black with tan interior. This thing doesn't have a sunroof, but that's okay. It's got four windows you can let down. Them same old Pontiac rims on there, how you see. That's just how I saw those cars. With the same setup with dual exhaust in the back. You know, that same traditional back end, rear end bumper, that look back there. Let's take a look at this tag right here. Model J. I don't know what that stands for. Back then, I don't know if this was a certain particular model, if they had certain different models at that time, if this was the basic model, or if it was one of the top or near the top edition of these cars. But this one here is very, very clean. And I thought I'd just take a look at it to show you guys, because I saw this when I walked in. I said, oh man, they got a Grand Prix in here. You know, that's a clean car too, man. The same traditional Pontiac front end on these things. I mean, these were nice, nice in the back in the day. Look at here. Somebody left a District of Columbia National Guard. So if it was a National Guardsman that owned this, I know he was proud of it. I don't see any rust spots on here, any bubbles. I haven't found much. I have found one thing, it was right there. That's about it. So you expect to find little doodads like that. Like going down the door, you know. But, I mean, you ain't finding much else than that little small little knick-knack patty -whack stuff, you know. Nothing that you can't deal with. Look at the dashboard in this thing, man. That thing's nice, clean, nice interior, tan. Going to the back. Back seats look real nice, man. Roll down windows, you know. Roll down windows, automatic, center shifter. Let's take a look at the driver's side. One thing that stood out that I just noticed was the door handles. You pushed it in and you pulled that way and the door opened. You don't see that on these cars no more. You know, that's old school. Yeah, that's real nice. <laughs> And I missed that, but I picked up on it. You pulled, you pull locks, you know. Yeah, you had to use the key to get in and out of these things. That was a true car. AM, FM radio, climate control, dashboard, steering wheel, man, you can't beat this thing. This thing is a true classic Mustang. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> true classic Pontiac Grand Prix. I said Mustang because I was looking at that Mustang over there. <laughs> yeah, this thing is nice. All right, guys. That was a good classic. Okay, guys, I found something that a grandfather would have been proud of. It's a car that he once owned. I know because I rode in the back end of it. And uh, the back seat, I should say, plenty of times. And every time he had one of these things, he always had either triple black or black 
on Burgundy, you know, and he loved those these cars in particular. They're Lincolns, Lincolns. He was a stankin' Lincoln type of guy, and he couldn't have anything else but a Lincoln. So we're gonna take a look at this one. You'll like it. Okay, guys, this is a 76 Lincoln Continental with the big 460 in it, and you needed that 460 power because you had all this car to pull. Like I said, when I get up on this car now, it's not as big as it was when I was a kid. And when I was a kid, this thing looked like it was a, a, a serious boat, a great big old boat on wheels, you know, a cruiser ship. <laughs> and man, these cars were nice cars. These were true once in a lifetime type of cars. These Lincolns like this, man, it was just, they were everywhere. If the politicians weren't riding in them, then you had the gangsters that was riding in them, or the big corporate people that were riding in them, or your pallbearers and your morticians that was <laughs> doing the funerals in them. You know, these cars were everywhere, and anyone who was in business or some sort of business had one. If you didn't have the four door, you had the two door. Everybody got to ride in Lincoln. Luxury style Lincoln. I mean, I used to see them with a single exhaust or dual exhaust. And even in dual exhaust, them things would rumble. They didn't come out the factory like that, but you could do it like that. You could do it like that with these Lincolns. I mean, they ran great. All you had to do was tune it up a little bit and you had you a nice rumbler coming off the back end. These things rode smooth. Oh my God, was it a smooth riding car. You couldn't beat that, man. Not with these things. And it's red on red. Although it says it's red on red, that's more like a, a dark, I would say maybe like a wine or, or not even a wine or burgundy with the red exterior paint. But as you go into the inside, that's where it gets a little darker interior, a little darker red or a burgundy or wine, if you want to be exact. But look at the, the dashboard matches up well with the interior. I mean, this thing is pretty big, man. But it's a nice size car. Put your whole family, this was a family car. You know, cause you could put three people up here comfortably. You know, father, mother, little small kid. Then you put all the rest of the kids in the back. You know, this thing was nice. And you rode anywhere cause you had the trunk space to put all the luggage, you know. That's what you had. First, let's look at this information board so you guys get a good look at what this thing is going for now. It's a 76 Lincoln Continental, 460 cubic V8, automatic, red on red, so they say. 52,000 miles undocumented, four door. And you see the price. And it's sold as is. It's a nice Lincoln. Let's take a look at the driver's side. Hey, before we go to that driver's side, I wanted to take a look at this rear end again. You see the trunk. When I was talking about the trunk space and how big these things were, once you open that thing up, that trunk space went from right here all the way to that back seat, just about. So you had plenty of room for luggage and it was a deep trunk, you know? You could put about two or three dead bodies back there like the mafia used to do and just take them somewhere and dump them, you know? These things were nice as we're making our way. Automatic antenna, electric antenna, you know. Red defrost. Now we get to the driver's side and take a good look at the interior here. This thing is real, was well kept, really well kept. It was really well kept, this car. I'm sure it's got air conditioning. You would need it in a size car like this. AM, FM radio. Catch a little tunes, you know. Pretty sure it's got everything you would want on it. I don't know if it's fully loaded, but I'm pretty sure it's got cruise control on this thing. 
electric windows, door locks, you know, dual mirrors. Yep. Yeah, this car was a nice car, man. Still is a nice car. But it was a car people had and they enjoy using it to go on trips. This is all you can do with a car this size. Take the family on trips. If it was a daily, you were burning a lot of gas. In 460s, man, especially with a four barrel, these things drink because you had all this weight to pull. You know, but if you could afford it, ta-da, this was your daily. All right, stankin' likin', y'all.